what do I even say here? What's up guys, Sam here, welcome back to another video. Our first look at the next generation version of over-ear AirPods, leaked videos and images of Powerbeats 4, so many details on the iPhone 12 that it almost hurts, and confirmation that new iMacs and Mac minis are on the way. This doesn't even sound real, and I kid you not, this is half the story. I'm already working on another video with watchOS 7 and iOS 14 leaks. There's so much stuff that I, I had to jump in. I just wanna jump right into the sauce and have some fun today. Drop a like if you're excited. It does seriously help me and the channel out and hit subscribe so you are always staying up to date on the latest Apple news. All right, there's so many different directions to go in for this video. I'm just, I'm so excited to tell you guys about all this. It's some really good stuff. I personally wanna start off with AirPods over ear. We have an icon leak, not courtesy of a source, but of the iOS 14 build that's been floating around. So Zach Hall over there at 9to5Mac, really great guy. Like, you, you should follow him and 9to5Mac if you haven't already. Published these images just earlier today of our first ever look at Apple's over-ear headphones. Now let me play devil's advocate for a second here. Oh, it's just an icon. This isn't actually gonna look anything like the final product. Oh really? Because this is what the AirPods Pro icon looked like and that was AirPods Pro when they came out. So I think this is a pretty clear indicator of Apple's design. And while it looks so similar to many other over-ear headphones, we know that Apple's gonna be putting their own special spin on here. And 9to5Mac believes pretty much for sure that these will not be affiliated with the Beats brand, but rather, take on a lot of the cool AirPods features we've come to know and love. Unlike some other Beats headphones on the Beats solo line where they sit like, you know, on your ear, they're on your headphones, these are going to be over ear headphones. So meaning they're going over your ear entirely, give you some better sound quality, definitely gonna be a little bit bigger and bulkier, but I think the benefits there are going to be worth it. We've heard from Bloomberg, these will have superb sound quality. And while these were initially slated for launch in 2019, 9to5Mac believes that based on the fact that these were found in iOS 14's beta, or I should say leak code, it's probably like a very early alpha, that Apple is aiming for a fall release for these headphones. On top of that, 9to5 also believes strongly that these are going to take the AirPods naming in some way because of the feature set they're boasting. They're going to have, like, take them off and your music stops. Put them back on, music starts playing again, just like normal AirPods. There are still a lot of questions about the exact name Apple's gonna go with and even how you charge these. Would it be a wireless charging stand of some kind or simply plug it in with USB-C or lightning connector? That is still totally up in the air. But after looking at this design for a couple of minutes, it is certainly a different shift for Apple headphone design, but I like the way it looks so far. I just think it's crazy that we finally got a look at these because they've been rumored for such a long time. And now we know for sure, at least as of December, 2019, Apple was still working on them. So hopefully we see them in fall of 2020. What do you guys think Apple's gonna name these? Let me know down below in the comment section. And are you gonna pick these up? We got some other audio intel as well though, which is pretty out there. I mean, this doesn't ever happen. In the same week, Power Beats 4, 9to5Mac and Win Future sharing new details Details on these. What's that? Oh yeah, a full video of what these look like when you'll set them up. So a, a full 360 degree video, courtesy again of somebody very close at Apple that has given us this information. No idea who it actually is, but thank you because we can see a full look of the device and also all the other marketing images leaked for these as well. Uh, these are gonna be the first Power Beats that ever include charging via lightning, I believe, or first Power Beats like one, two, three, four of that group. We've got a little Beats bag that always comes with those. We've got all the colors, black, white, and red. Not sure why Apple limited it just to black, white, and red, but those are the three colors they went with. They look pretty sharp. If you're looking for something that still has a little bit of a wire, uh, I guess for some extra tension, if you prefer that feel, you're gonna be getting these because they look pretty sharp. They're gonna be probably sub $200, maybe at $199 or even lower at $149 when they launch. And for the little kicker, the battery life is said to be improving from 12 hours of listening time all the way up to 15 hours hours. Dang guys, that's a lot of battery uh, impact inside of these. And I really hope eventually we see some of this great Beats battery life, whether it's from Power Beats Pro or Power Beats 4, come to AirPods because AirPods are still capping out at I think four and a half to five hours, if you're lucky. So hopefully this is an indication of great things to come. If not in the meantime, 
This is a really solid pair of Power Beats, and these are probably gonna go on sale in just a couple of days. Definitely not as big of a product as AirPods, but still, you know, this is your first look. It's pretty sweet. Shifting away from audio, going back to a product that a lot of us care about, the iPhone series. Look at this. Uh, Apple is still hard at work on the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 facing some new delays and possibly gaining a 64 megapixel camera. Now that number is a little up there, I'd say. According to Digitimes and pretty much every other Apple analyst on the planet at this point, coronavirus, obviously a very serious issue here. It's significantly impacting Apple's development on not only the iPhone 12, but also production for the iPhone 9, that second generation iPhone SE that we were expecting at an event later this month. And now after Apple's encouraging so many employees to work from home, bringing so many worldwide media together at one event, doesn't really sound like that's gonna be happening anymore. And it probably shouldn't happen because it sounds like a bad idea. One analyst claimed that the iPhone 12 5G version will not be able to launch until October of this year. The iPhone 12 models have not passed the super important, uh, I think, device validation test stage, DVT, which means that it's good to go for more mass production. That hasn't happened yet. That usually happens weeks ago. So definitely be ready for some delays on the iPhone 12. It sounds like a September launch after all this. Might not be happening after all for the first time in a long time for the iPhone. Um, and that's just because of obviously the huge supply chain disruptions over in China. Obviously human lives invaluably more important than a phone. So, you know, it's just a phone guys. It might get delayed, it's all right. But we do have some exciting intel on this, courtesy of PineLeaks, supplying this exclusively to Everything Apple Pro the other day, and specifically a lot of intel on the camera for the iPhone 12. Apple said it'd be testing a 64 megapixel sensor, and I had to say it like that because that is See, 12, 24. I mean, this is like five times as wild as we're seeing. Over five times as wild as the sensor we have right now. Pine Leaks, they've got a mixed track record, so take all of this with a grain of salt, but they say that the new sensor will allow more light in, and obviously Apple would want that because more light, generally better picture, and of course, better low light performance. Now we saw night mode on the iPhone 11 Pro series, but it was only for the standard angle lens, the normal one, not ultra wide, not zoomed in telephoto. And this year in 2020, Apple's working to expand it to all three lenses, although it's unclear if that's actually going to end up materializing, but it is always weird. Like, I mean, the ultra wide angle camera, it's really fun. It looks fantastic in, in broad daylight at night. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good at all. And Apple definitely needs to work on expanding the apertures here, which they're also said to be doing. Also in the mashup here is Apple working on macro functionality. So obviously with your phone, you can get reasonably close to something, but at a certain point you have to back up or the photo is just going to be out of focus. Well, Apple's working on letting you get closer than ever before to the point where if this, what you're looking, you know, watching me from was the new iPhone 12 lens, potentially this iPhone could still be in focus now and everything in the back would be super blurred. That's something that Apple really hasn't paid attention to. A lot of manufacturers have not paid attention to, but macro shooting, it can be really fun, especially if you wanna capture the bee getting nectar from a flower or some fly that just landed on somewhere. You can get really, really close while still capturing great detail. Writing out the camera details, Apple's also working on an enhanced algorithm for smart HDR. Uh, Pine League says it's gonna be closer to smart XDR, so extended dynamic range, meaning you're gonna be able to see more accurate color spread throughout the image. I'm really looking forward to this. I've been blown away for the past few years from Apple's HDR and then smart HDR and then enhanced H, H I can't even say it. They've got so many HDRs. This year, expanded HDR. They've done that with the Pro Display. They're probably working on an algorithm for photos as well. And the user, uh, the leaker says they saw the photos, say they look absolutely incredible. So I can't wait to see some actual video samples on stage from Apple at the event. Larger batteries, woohoo, they're coming again. Uh, apparently 5G is a bit more battery intensive. So Apple is likely working on expanding the size of iPhone 12 batteries. Pine Leak says about 10%, which is great. I mean, the battery life on my iPhone 11 Pro is already nuts, so an extended battery is just really cool. This last rumor, apparently Verizon pulling some tomfoolery here, trying to get Apple to sign an exclusive red version of the iPhone 12 Pro to them, available only through Verizon. 
So it's apparently not going very well. It's probably not gonna happen, but I find that interesting that Verizon is trying to get some edge up on their competition. So iPhone 12, still looking really great. Obviously in Cupertino at Apple's headquarters, they're still hard at work, whether from home or at their actual desks. On the iPhone 12, the feature development, I don't think has been severely impacted, but the production uh, and the engineering portion has probably been quite challenging. Now, rounding out this video, do not buy a new iMac or a Mac mini in the next three months, please. I'm begging you, this comes courtesy of insane leaker over on Twitter, Coinex. Now you've seen him sporadically in a couple of my videos in the past. The dude doesn't get things wrong. When he tweets, new X, Y, or Z coming, it comes out very shortly after that. He has gotten essentially nothing wrong except like one detail about an Apple event, but hardware wise, He's shooting 10 for 10, 100% here. It's actually impressive. This could be everybody from Tim Cook to somebody who works at a warehouse. We don't know anything about this person, but they tweeted out recently, new iMac and Mac mini, they're coming soon. And even put a little emoji there for fun. They also said the new iPad Pro camera is gonna be pretty wild, pretty impressive. No additional detail or any photo samples because that would actually, that would blow my mind a little bit. But wanted to let you know, new iMac, we had no idea it was on the way. We knew iMac Pro was coming in December, but iMac proper, didn't know that update was coming, and a new Mac Mini. Do not buy these computers because Apple's updating them quite soon as well. This is the first news update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more. Such good stuff to come later. 9 to 5 Mac has a lot more to share apparently, so I can't wait to, to share more stuff with you guys in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you all. See you in my next video. Peace out.